Our first winner of the night goes to Lonstown Community College. <laughs> What does this award mean to the community of Lawrencetown? Well, we're thrilled to have been um, uh, the recipients of this award tonight. And as I said earlier, we were very surprised because the, the list of nominees, the, there were some super uh, candidates there. Um, but look, it means um, it means a lot for us because we put a lot of work into the last year trying to um, build up our heritage for the community, to try and sell the, the heritage of Lawrencetown, I suppose, back to the community, to capture it, first of all, in our heritage brochure and to you know make it accessible to all ages in the community. And, you know, as I said, we, we did a lot of work this year. I, I'm more on the project management side. Aaron is more on the, the, the um, substantive heritage side. And we're just thrilled, I suppose, to, to see the, the work and the effort recognised. And it re will really keep us going now for future years. Aaron, what would you recommend that people go and see as part of the heritage of Lawrencetown if they have to drive out there over the winter? Well, there's a lot of uh, interesting uh, heritage sites in Lawrencetown. Uh, the most uh, interesting of them all would be the, the Volunteer Arch, um, which is called the New Gate by the locals. Uh, between Larson and Kiltormer. Also, uh, Ballymore Castle, well, that's in a private residence. Um, uh, the um, the mausoleum as well, uh, Lysheen, Seymour Mausoleum, the people in the castle uh, are buried there. They'd be the three that I have off the top of my head. Yeah. And Sharon, what next for your group? Well, we're in the process now of putting together um, the the signage to depict the Heritage Trail in the village and we received some funding for that this year. So now that we have the Heritage Trail established and the brochures established, we're now uh, starting our process of putting up signs around the village and depicting that on the ground so that people who visit the village will be very, you know, it'll be very easy for them to see where to go and, and to be able to read about it even if they don't have the brochure to hand. Um, we also would like to, um, in conjunction with um, uh, Galway County Council Heritage, um, try to translate that into some digital um, heritage trail uh, footage to allow people to do that you know, via their, their iPhones, etc. And um, I suppose to really to build on some of the work that's been done already. In terms of new projects, we'd like to do a little bit of restoring work on some of those um, items that, uh, that Aaron mentioned, particularly one of the follies um, near the New Gate and also the Seymour Mausoleum in particular. So um, a lot of work to do. We're really only in its infancy, but um, certainly this, this has uh, been a great boost. Finally, any groups in particular organisations or businesses or people that you'd like to thank or acknowledge? Oh, well, that, that's a tough one now because there's been a lot of people that have helped. But um, first of all, I want to thank in particular our group um, the, the Lawrencetown uh, Community Development Group and the committee of that who have been so supportive. Our own focus group which um, deals with tidy towns and heritage and specifically I'd like to thank uh, James Joyce, Mary Pardy, uh, John Pardy and um, uh, uh, Paddy Walsh um, as well as Colin Ryder and, and ourselves who are, who are the, I suppose the main instigators of this group and um, finally I want to thank the people of Lawrencetown and the businesses in Lawrencetown who support us you know, in terms of sponsorship etc but also particularly KPW, Robbie Riddle and Paddy Walsh for the beautiful photo photography and artistry that really brings the Heritage Bush to life.